Hi guys, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. So I'm coming to you guys with a payday haul. So the first thing I'm gonna start with Old Navy. I went to the Old Navy by me and I paid $2.80 for each one of these brushes. So I picked up three of them. I picked up a e.l.f. powder brush, which I have already. And this is how it looks. And usually it's $3 in the e.l.f. store, so I actually saved money. And I picked up a blush brush. And this is, okay, this is the powder brush number 84003 powder brush. E.l.f. powder brush. Then I have this e.l.f. blush brush, and this is 84011. Then I picked up the angled eyeliner brush, and this is 84013. All three of these brushes came up to $8.40, and then I had um, 75 cents tax, so all of it came up to $9.15 for the three of them, which is cheaper than if I would have bought an e.l.f. because I would have had to pay, um, I had to pay um, city tax, state tax and um yeah city tax state tax and also i went to h&m and i picked up i picked up some gift tags as you guys know um i'm getting older i'm 23 and i'm turning 24 this year so um my plan right now in life is to be able to buy my mom you know if it's gift cards something every mother's day you know just random gifts and stuff like that as i told you guys i'm trying to buy us a chloe one for each of us so i picked up these um gift tags and it's five it's five in a pack and they're really really cute and I picked up four of them. They were originally $4.95, but I bought it on sale for a dollar from H&M. And they're basically just heart tags. These are called, in case you guys are interested in these. Okay, I don't see the name of these. It just says gift tags five pack, if you guys can see that. So I picked up four of them. You guys can see that at a dollar piece also from h&m i saw this really pretty dress they have been a really huge um sale h&m is always having sale and i couldn't leave it it was for it was originally 29.95 but i bought it on sale for 15 dollars and this is the front of it it's really cute it has a bow at the neck and it's a blue and white stripe and it's a sweater knit and it's basically um comes to about above your knee length so this is the front of it this is the back of it and it's short sleeved and it's cuffed at the sleeve it's really cute it's cuffed at the sleeve as you guys can see it's cuffed at the sleeve and it's short sleeve and it's just really really cute i bought it in a size um uh oh I might have to return this guy. This looks like it's not my size. Yeah, I bought in a size medium. So I don't know if it's gonna be too small. Oh, I'm sorry, the bow was on the back. I thought this was an extra large, but it's a medium. So I'll probably be bringing this back because it's a medium. And I thought it was an extra large. I wear extra large. So also from H&M, I picked up three shirts in a large and they were $2.95 and they're crop tops with the extended open arms can you guys see this so it can show the bra you're wearing it's really really cute um it's even it's not a high low it's even and I picked up three of these I picked up two white ones 
and they were $2.95 a piece and I picked this up in a size large as well and I picked up a nice um, blue one and they were $2.95 a piece so those are three of those um, so all of that came up to $28.21 um, I went to Rite Aid and I basically did like some grocery shopping um, they had these on sale. They were they're normally nine forty nine, and you guys know I love gain. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have the flavor I want, so I figured I'd pick up these and then switch it out when I see they have the flavor I want. Because um, I wear perfume already, and I feel like that's enough. I don't need to have perfume in my actual clothes, even though the even the natural gain has scent. I'm like, this is probably overdo it for people <laughs> like walking by them smelling like the laundry mat, you know. Um, so this is the Island Fresh scent from Gain. I, I don't know what, I don't know what this one smells like. I don't think so. Um, because they have re, re, um, vamped their scents. So even though this is the old name, the Island Fresh from Gain, which came out like four or five years ago, they changed the scents, even though it's the same name. So I don't know what it smells like. I just figured it smelled good because I have the air freshener in that scent. And the lavender as well. I picked up the game lavender. And this is the 50 FL. And for $4.95, I was not leaving it. So I picked up two of those for $4.95 a piece. I also picked up two Martinelli's. You guys know this is the only apple cider I like. I was raised on Martinelli's um, sparkling apple cider. I don't drink liquor. And I'm getting ready for my birthday in August. So I want to stock up on these as much as possible. So I'll pick up like five or six or seven because I'm hoping to promote this at my party, even though I'm going to buy liquor. I'm hoping that people would drink apple cider more than liquor. You know what I mean? So um, I, I don't care if people drink it, but I'm really trying to convert people to my religious ways. <laughs> Sneakily anyways. Uh huh. So this is this was three nineteen a piece. So I picked up two of those at three nineteen a piece from my aid. Um, also from my aid, I picked up some Lay stack chips, which were on sale for a dollar a piece. So I picked up. Wait, no, I paid two dollars for them. It said a dollar and I paid two dollars for them. That's not cool. If I was paying two dollars, I'd like to not pay two dollars. That's not cool. So I think I'm gonna bring these back. I, it said it was a dollar, but I paid two dollars for them. Um each. And I'm the type of person if I'm paying for something. Okay, these smart waters were four for five dollars. So I picked up four of them. I thought it was, I picked up four of them. And this is the one, 1.8 FL. And this is what I give Bella to drink, smart water. So I picked up four of them. Four for five dollars. So I picked up four of them for Bella. Um, yeah, and that's all I bought from Rite Aid. They gave me a bunch of coupons. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, um, Rite Aid has changed their wellness card name from wellness card into the Plenty card. And Plenty has rewards with more more places than Rite Aid. The Rite Aid brand card only gives you rewards with Rite Aid. But the Plenty card gives you Rite Aid like you can get free gas with that. So I think it's super cool. And it seems like they launch it every um, every summertime. So I don't think that's really cool. Um, if you guys remember, I told you guys I had some purses on sale. I had some purses on layaway until I got paid. So I put on layaway um Friday, I believe, I paid $50 on it. And this is one of the purses I put on the side. Um, this is the Kate Spade purse. It was originally $238. I believe it was more than that. However, I only paid $119 for it. Um, and this is how it looks. This is the front of it. It's a crossbody. This is the front of it. This is the, the one of the corners. This is the other corner. 
This is how it looks on the inside. It comes with a duster and it's packed with tissue. It has like a magnetic clasp. It has a pocket here. When you first open it, there's a pocket here. Um, it has this duster. Then it has the Kate Spade logo back here, if you guys can see that. And it comes with a zip and a pocket back here. And I guess this is the information to register the purse. I don't know if you register Kate Spades or... Okay, this is just information on... It comes with a card, a care card. So yeah so you can't um register these but it and it's just really stuffed it just comes with stuffing and if you guys can see the lining it says kate spade all over this is the same lining it says kate spade and these are the magnetics and it looks like it has a lock but it's not a lock i like that um i don't like stuff with locks as you guys know i don't lock anything um these are detachable straps if you want to detach it and turn it into a clutch. That's why I really like it as well. You could just detach these from the corners. And it's um 14 karat plated gold hardware. No, this is silver silver hardware on it. Also from Marshalls, I picked up this other um wallet and it has an open um magnetic part back here it has a magnetic part by here it has a really cute bow this was 69.99 i don't know how much it was originally but that was a really huge discount and it has a cardboard it has a like zip part a uh, open part back here and a cardboard to hold the shape and this is the front of it this is the back of it, and it comes with a wristband. This is the corners. So this is how it looks when you first open it up. It has six card slots in some place for you to put your money. Um, on the other side, it has a change area. It has another six card slots in the front when you immediately open it. Um, some more places for you to put cash. So you guys can see it's basically a wallet slash clutch um i think if your phone is really small like my phone i have the g2 you can fit it in there and that's basically what i carry anyways and some napkins um and i bought an, another kate spade purse and this was 49.99 this is how it looks in the front this is how it looks in the back and it has the official kate spade logos on all of them this says that it was um, $120 and I bought it for $50, so that's super cool. When you open it, it has two parts, two pockets here, if you guys can see this. It has two pockets, then it has a tissue to hold the space, and it has the Kate Spade logo back here. So, also from Marshalls, I picked up these slippers. I told you guys, if you guys know where I could buy any comfort slippers, because, um, the so I told you guys in the front of my foot I tend to put too much pressure so these seem really soft and if it rains or whatever it should be a little durable this feels like fox leather right here these straps and these are our soles and I paid 99 $9 from them from Marshalls and they're aerosols you guys can see that okay $9.99 from Marshall this is a beautiful um, light green color. This is how it looks on the back. And the woven straps are a dark and light brown. So it's really super cute. And they look really comfortable. I didn't try them on, but I hope they come. They look like they're going to be comfortable. So I picked them up. Um, last but not least, some... Mom, well, not last. Sorry, guys. Bella's in the film. Come, baby. Not last, but I also bought this spatula, which is really nice. It's called the Star Spangled Spatula, and it basically has the... I guess it has the 50 stars and the cutout for the flag, and it also is a bottle opener. It's also a bottle opener down here, if you guys can see that. 
it was ten dollars so I couldn't leave it it was $9.99 if you guys can see the bottle opener down here it was $9.99 so I couldn't pass it up um, I picked up a fuzz iced tea which is really really sweet also I picked up I picked up two from Marshalls for $2.99, which is a really cool sale. I picked up two of these Love and Real eyeshadows. And this is um, LIR20 Showgirls Exposed. And this is Love and Real. I picked up two of the same thing. So this is how it looks. I don't know how to the other one, but I picked up two of them. So, um, oh, here's the other one. I picked up two of them. So, stay, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is my, it's 9.20, guys. It is now 9.20 p.m. And this is Wednesday, June 17th. So, this video is called My Third Paycheck Mini Haul. I hope you guys enjoy this editorial. In total, I spent $301. So I hope you guys enjoy this editorial. Again, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. Be blessed. I've been saying, Mwah! Thumbs up this video. Share it, like it. Leave your comments, requests in the comment section below. Um, I have on my own navy sleep shirt. Just for the purposes of this video, I'm about to go to sleep with nothing on. It's 920. And I am extremely beat, guys. Um, well... Yeah, so again, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. Be blessed, I'll be saying, Mwah.